Hello beautiful, welcome, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing this to myself, but I am gonna do a full face of makeup, hopefully, with only the products that I ranked as number one in my monthly rankings. Because I do a ranking series each month where I basically tell you, rank all the things that I've been trying the past month from least favorite to most favorite thing. And you're probably thinking, bitch, that sounds so easy. Just you doing your makeup with your favorite products. What's special about that? Well, the thing is that I have four eyeshadow palettes, four uh, highlighters, two foundations, and a cream bronzer. Yeah, that's what's offered today, babies. <laughs> that's what we're doing our makeup with. Hopefully this is gonna be a fun time and if you haven't been here before do consider subscribing because I do love playing around with makeup Not taking it too serious having fun with color having fun with textures and if you want to see more of that Well, this is the place to be This actually was a suggestion from one of you and let's wait until the end to see if I want to thank you or not Okay, and I am uploading this as my last video of vlogmas I have been uploading every day since the last week of November actually some days I've been uploading more than one video a day and actually I've also been uploading on my vlog channel so this is the amount of videos that I've been uploading during my vlogmas time uh, yeah it's been a lot but honestly I've been having a lot of fun so I thought I'd end vlogmas with this kind of a video but I will let you know that come tomorrow which is a Monday I'm going back to my normal filming schedule for the rest of December which means that there is going to be a video tomorrow as well because I normally upload on Mondays. I'll talk a little bit in my new makeup releases which is going to be on the 30th of December. I'll talk a little bit about what's coming in January because I have some things coming up so we'll talk about that then but if you are celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're like me and you're actually from a country that celebrates Christmas on the 24th. I hope you had an amazing Christmas Eve. And if you're not celebrating Christmas, I of course hope you're having just an amazing Sunday. Listen, we all need an amazing Sunday. So let's jump in. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, but I'm only gonna be cheating with one item. And that is that I'm gonna bring in a powder because I need to set some places in my face. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work out. And all of the eyeshadows that I have here, none of them have like a color that's even remotely close to being like a powder color. Because you know, I don't like eyeshadows that is that color. So that's the only thing I'm gonna sheet with. Oh, uh, I have a brow gel as well, but no brow, other brow product and no lip product. It's gonna be fun. I will leave the playlist down below where I am ranking my makeup in case you wanna go back and see like the rankings that I've done throughout the year. But the two foundations that actually ended up being on top in two different months was the Make Forever HD Skin and the Ambient Soft Glow by Hourglass. So we'll just do a pump of each, right? And usually, well, let me do a little bit more than a pump of this one. Actually, uh, I usually do a ranking each time of the month where I like rank everything from like least favorite to most favorite. And I will say, let me blend these together. And I will say that this year I missed a couple of months and I really don't want to do that next like year. I was thinking that I was going to be like, oh, if it's not that necessary that it's in the beginning of the month, maybe I can upload like more than once a month. But instead it ended up being less than once a month and I don't want that. So next year I'm gonna be more focused on actually doing these kind of roundups a little bit more on a regular basis because I actually think that out of the things that I do here on YouTube, when it comes to like things actually being helpful, my monthly rankings are probably the most helpful thing on my channel because that is me coming back and giving my final review on things that I have been using throughout the month. I never include something that I haven't been trying out more outside of YouTube, that I haven't been like giving a proper like thinking about a bit, you know? Trying it out with different primers, trying it out with different brushes, just making sure that this product actually is good or bad. <laughs> So I don't want to be slacking on that series. Oh, I need to use this under my eyes as well because I do not have a concealer. So I don't want to be slacking on this series and I'm going to make a better effort. Maybe I should do that because I saw that people were doing Mel Thompson's like resolutions tag. Maybe that could be one of my first videos of January. Just talking about like some resolutions for me, my beauty routine, my shopping because I'm on a low buy. So it's resolutions around like your makeup routine, your shopping routines and your YouTube routines as well. So I thought that maybe that could be helpful. I don't know if this 
is the exact right shade for me right now for some weird reason. Is that fudge? I made fudge yesterday and now I ate some. Don't come for me. You would do the same. No, I think this is a good shade. I think this might be a good shade. Okay, I didn't rank, listen, this isn't me cheating. I didn't rank this one as number one. I think I ranked it as like two or three or something, but I did do a separate um, a bronzer or like cream bronzer. Yeah, I did a separate cream bronzer ranking and this one ranked as number one and I did review this one this year. So I thought I'd sneak this one in here. This is the Rare Beauty bronzer stick and this one is in Happy Soul. I think this one is the shade number two, if I'm not totally mistaken. I do have shade number one as well. It's actually a really nice one as well. I like putting my bronzer down a little bit here because like this part, I don't want that to be too, too much. I mean, this is the easy part. I do have foundation, I do have bronzer. I don't have any blush, but maybe we can use some eyeshadow for that. <laughs> when you're seeing this, I am probably still at my friend Heather Austin's house, celebrating Christmas with them. It's gonna be really lovely, I'm excited about that. It's gonna take a while to drive over, but we'll be fine. So this is the part where I wanna use some powder, because I feel like I am a little... I need powder. I need powder and there's nothing in these palettes that are even like remotely powder colored. So I'm gonna use my poof, this one, and just a little bit of this powder from uh, CoverGirl. And I'm just gonna see if we can just set a little bit here and around my smile lines. That's, it needs to be set a little bit here and maybe a little bit here. I just, it needed it. Don't come for me. <laughs> Don't come for me. Okay, so I have a million different uh, highlighters to choose from, but when it comes to blush, we don't have that many to choose from. But I do have this palette. This was number one, and I think the last one of my um, rankings that I did, I did also do a ranking where I ranked all of my palettes throughout the year. So if you wanna see that, that was a really long video. If you're interested in eyeshadow palettes, that could be it. And I did try a little bit. You can see that I put the um, the brush in here. I did try blending these two to do a brow color because like right now uh, I have more of a copper hair. So like I wouldn't be sad if my brows turned out a little warm. So I was thinking, I was lucky that Quickly. Oh boy. I was lucky that this palette at least had some neutrals because I'm not usually the person that goes for a lot of neutrals. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. Um. You know what, I'm gonna use a little bit of this mullet, which is the lighter color, and we'll just use a little bit of, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's almost like pink red. Ooh. But I have the brow gel at least. That looks like a mistake. The Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel actually was number one. Uh, and I think in that video, actually the Rare Beauty was number two. These brows are horrible, don't look at them. Um, apparently I don't have any, there's a very specific color scheme in the palettes. This one was the one that was offering the most neutral shades, but as you can see, it's not the shade that I needed. But this one wasn't released this year, but I reviewed it this year and I put it as number one. And I don't think the Rare Beauty bronzer sticks either was released this year. I think they were released on the cusp, like really late last year. So I think that if I pull my brows up like this, it will cover it up a little bit and make it look a little less awful. That is not true. They're still looking really awful, but I'm doing the best I can with what is offered here. Um... <laughs> I'm lucky to even have a brow gel in this race. And I honestly think if I use this brow pen, this is the Lift and Snatch brow tint pen. This was in my favorites of last year. If I just use this one and just 
drew in a couple of hairs in the beginning here. I think it makes everything a little bit more believable. I know I am cheating again. But I just want to make it like believable. Like a little bit at least. This is probably my third or my fourth of this one. I really love this product. I think that that looks less awful. It's still not the right shade. But I feel like if you squint a bit, I could get away with that. Just because I drew in some hairs there in the beginning. I wish it was leaning a little bit more yellow. Could I mix it with a yellow instead? Is that what I should have done? Should I have mixed... Should I be experimenting at this point? No. Now I have yellow brows. Oh my god. These eyeshadows are too pigmented for this. Ah, send help. Okay, let's not experiment with that any further. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself into trouble. Okay, so I have three different highlighter products as number ones this year. I've been into highlighters. This is the Tarte Maracuja, Maracuja Juicy Glow. This is a cream highlighter. Then I have the Winnie the Pooh highlighters by Colourpop. These were the Super Shock highlighters that they came up with in the Winnie the Pooh collection. I don't think I'm gonna be using these. This is the darker one. I don't think I'm gonna be using these simply. And this is the medium one. The lighter one apparently is still in my collection. Simply because I've been talking about Super Shock highlighters for years and years. So I think I'm gonna be layering these other two because I also have the REM highlighters. I think they're so beautiful. So this one is the Clicky Pen. So I think I'll use this one here. And I'll actually just blend this out with a sponge a little bit. Am I allowed to use eyeshadow primer? Listen, eyeshadow without eyeshadow primer, that's a crime. I have to be able to use that, right? Listen, I'm, I am cheating and using that. Otherwise, it's like there's nothing. I, I don't even have concealer to use. And foundation just isn't the same. I'm sorry, no. We're doing eyeshadow primer. I have to give these products at least a freaking shot. <laughs> I think this product is super beautiful on its own. Just like this. But I also think it's super pretty if you layer something on top. I usually wear this one when I want to be like... Like, a, more like a glow from within kind of a type, which I really feel like this is. I do have two of these. I have the Miss Mercury, which is the lighter one. This is like a lighter icy champagne. But we are going to be using Miss Saturn, which is the second one I bought. This is more like a muted rose gold kind of a situation. So I'm just going to be pulling this one. Oh, I really like this highlighter formula. I think it's so good. And we're just going to be pulling this on top, making this a super, super glowy look. I think that's pretty. I'm just so excited about this highlighter look. I think this looks so beautiful. And yeah, I just really like how it looks on the skin. I just think it's super, super pretty. And I'm still loving highlighted skin. I like highlighted skin, but like I want to highlight where I want to highlight. So I like a somewhat matte foundation with highlighter. Yes, I know. I'm still stuck in like 2015. Sue me. So I don't have any lip products. Let me show you the other <laughs> eyeshadow palettes that I have though. I have the two Scooby-Doo palettes by Glamlight. I really did enjoy these. And I have the Serenity palette by Cosmic Brushes. It looks like this. I kind of want to do, because I did do a separate look. I did do a look using both of these together when I did the, like the video on this one. And then I did a reel using this one, the, the dark one. I have a reel using a look, like doing a look with this one. So I was thinking I'll do a look with this one. So do we want to do something green? Because I also really love the greens in the Serenity. Maybe like just this one. And start with this one then let's do that let's just let's not overcomplicate things let me just do something fun okay let's start here then and let's just do something super green I'm not a hundred percent like convinced again what I'm doing but that's like 
that's a given when it comes to me. I just really love these Scooby-Doo palettes. I loved how deep they went. I love how saturated and nice they went on with the brush on the eyes. I just really like how they blended out. I liked everything about these palettes. I thought they were really fun and nice. It didn't swatch the best though, but on the other hand, I don't buy my makeup to swatch it. I buy my makeup to wear it. Am I gonna do this under my eyes too? Hmm, I think that will be the best. So I'll just use some of this under my eyes too. Let's do something fun and monochromatic to make people not look at my brows, right? And I'm starting to wonder, did any of these palettes have an inner corner highlight? Oh, there's opal in the, oh, thank God. Ah, oh, so I'm feeling that I want to do this one now in the Serenity palette because it is such a nice like green shade. I think I'll use the same brush actually and just go into this one. It is a, a little bit more on the cool tone side without being teal because it isn't blue, but it also isn't like really a warm green. It's more like a... It's like a, I don't know, a Lego green. <laughs> the color of grass in Lego. This, this is what this color is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this super dark green here on a small brush and just, you know me. And if you don't, hello, I love very colorful, very dramatic makeup. And I would love to have a little extra depth out here. Ooh, that is sexy. <laughs> Very sexy. What kind of shimmer do I want to have? I mean, honestly, there's so many in these palettes that would go with this look. So we do have some greens in here that would obviously go very well with this look. And we have the opal one here that's could look incredible but i also have something in here i have this one that's more like an olive and i quite recently used that in a look but maybe this one it is actually a duochrome so i thought maybe we can use a duochrome and then the opal shade just because the like the crease is so bright maybe like a more not muted but like this is a duochrome with a warm brown base and a green shift i was like maybe that could be something so this one is called VHS and I didn't spray this one because they have a little bit more of a putty formula and I want to use this a little bit more like a topper and I think that this will be really pretty as a topper and then the opal one meeting up. Honestly, that is the perfect shade for this look. I'm so happy we chose this one. Mm -mm -mm. And I think if I sprayed it, that like more reddish brown base, like the base of this duochrome would like appear more. But now that I'm using it more as a topper and shearing it out a little bit, we basically only see mainly the green shimmer. And I think that that really fits this look. That is so pretty. Okay, let's use the opal shade, which is the light iridescent, almost like a multi-chrome, like a purple, blue, green, iridescent shade. So I think we're gonna use that one with what kind of a brush? This brush? I think we'll use it with this brush. I'm gonna start by not spraying this one too and just seeing where we can go. think that's gonna be really good and then we'll meet up a little bit here and I'm not gonna use too much of this because this one is a little bit more of a cooler almost leaning a little bit mint so I don't want it to take over and of course I'm gonna have to finish up with like mascara and stuff as well because like I didn't have anything like that either but I hope you forgive me for the few missteps that I have done. Let me finish this um, eye look up and then we can figure out what the actual fluff we're doing with the lips and the blush. 
Hmm. I mean, the eye look is beautiful, but I'm not surprised by that because like I literally was able to use some of the best palettes of the year. So I'm not surprised about that. Like it's stunning. Here comes the hard part. I'm thinking maybe we'll dip into this one, the peach up in the corner as a little blush moment. I think that's going to be really stunning. Oh, did you sneak in? There's a Kaisa sleeping under the table. I didn't even see you, you sneaky little fox. That turned out much better than anticipated. I'm just gonna go over that with the highlighter because like, of course, an, like an eyeshadow is not, according to me, as easy to blend onto the skin because of the pigmentation as it blushes. But that looks really pretty. Okay, good for us. Here's what I'm thinking. This is gonna be the last one and like, this is lipstick. I'm thinking maybe this one as like a nude. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This is one of the colors I wore in my brows. I think this might work. I do like the lip color, but I'm thinking if I use or is it? If I use a little bit of the Super Shock, if I do that in the middle, and then do more eyeshadow on top, you think it's gonna stick better? Because I was feeling like it didn't wanna stick properly Ugh. because of like my lips being a little dry. It gave the lips a little bit of a sheen but maybe that's just making it more believable that it would be a lipstick. That's not horrible. Like, I would have lip colors like this. Maybe there's some metallic peeking through. <laughs> Am I too lazy to brush my hair or to do anything with it? Correct. But I think I'll get away with it. And I'm showing a little bit of the... I feel like it really... I mean, this makes it work with the brows a little bit. I don't think, like, I'm gonna wear this makeup. Listen, if I do makeup, I'm wearing the makeup. The only makeup that I actually washed off immediately afterwards is that when I did the full face of the worst makeup, I washed that off because it looked horrendous. It looked really, really bad. This makeup, I'm keeping it on. I think both the brows and the lips are looking really good and the blush is looking very, very believable. I don't think that it's, you can see that I'm not wearing a concealer. I mean, I think it looks really good. And to be honest, sometimes I feel like concealer is an extra step, unless you're having really, really dark under eyes. My lips are like screaming for lip oil though. They're like, please, ma'am, can we have some lip oil? They're dry. Like you can see, they're dry. I'm gonna add a little, something like a gloss or lip oil. I'm gonna add that on top. But I mean, I love these products. These truly are, creme de la creme of the products that I have tried of this year. So if you were to take any kind of recommendations from me, if you only wanted to buy one product that I recommend this year, any of these products, 10 out of 10 recommend, really, really like them. I will link actually videos because I have a dedicated video on these eyeshadow um, products. If you're interested in seeing like swatches and stuff, because I know I have that. And I hope you liked the video and I hope you're having an amazing Christmas. And I will see you tomorrow. Even though we're out of Vlogmas, you're not getting rid of me yet. I will have a video tomorrow and I will see you then. And yeah, just take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.